Okay, so we're going to be doing an academic drawing this week. Um, and after that, we're going to be picking a part of the skeleton that we want to do a charcoal crop study of. The link that is in your classroom is a 3D Live link. So you can zoom in when you're drawing the details of the skeleton. This is the best re-reference I can find. But before you do that, you have to set up your skeleton and that's what this tutorial is. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this to the side so I can kind of show you the setup. I'm gonna have my skeleton reference up on the side and I have to use a dark pencil because, um, so that you can see. I'm just gonna move my laptop over to the side, but I am going to look. So when I set up my skeleton, it needs to fit on the page, right? It needs to fit on the page. And I'm using a 6B because um, I want you to be able to see. But of course I need to sharpen my pencil. Okay, never come with a sharpened pencil, my bad. Yes. So the basics of the skeleton. So basically when you set it up, you're gonna start with an oval in the center or an increment. You can do either one, right? And then you're gonna do the same size, the top and bottom. So that gives you three and then four and then five, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then six and then seven and then a half. Okay, so, and they should be pretty much the same size, okay? That is how you set up your proportions. So from um, the top of the head to the skull is, and I'm just gonna escape to show you this reference. So this reference that I, it's on your Google Classroom, it kind of explains how the seven and a half heads, it's a, it's a universal proportion tool formula. So from the top of the head, okay, I don't know why it's doing that. From the top of the head to the bottom of the head is, um, okay, here we go. Dang it, it's dark, but it's that's one. And then from the neck to the middle of the sturban is two. To the top of the pelvic bone is three. The pelvic bone is the fourth, right? So one, one, two, three, four, and then the thigh bone is five, the knee and part of the shin is six, the whole shin is seven, and then the feet is the half. So I'm gonna go back to my human resolution. And what you're gonna be doing is a drawing a skeleton in line. So I'm just gonna zoom in and get, I'm just gonna get my sketch. So I'm just gonna zoom down here. I'm gonna uh, pull my skeleton down. I'm gonna start with the rib cage. So I'm gonna, this is the neck part right here, and I'm just gonna base it in really quickly here. I'm gonna make sure that, you know, um, my width and everything is right. So if my skull is here, I'm just gonna sketch in that really quick, the jawline. Now I'm doing 6B, you're gonna wanna do lighter. Don't do any detailing yet because you're gonna need to change, move things around. So, you know, I can tell right away my skull, my, there's my neck and then my clavicle and my sternum and my rib cage, my rib cage. And then down here is the pelvic area. Column, pelvic area. Let's see. Go back to that reference. I think that's really helpful. So the rib cage is here, and then there's a space here, and then that's the pelvic area. And then in the pelvic area is also the thigh bone. It's also the thigh bone. And then this whole thing is the thigh. It's the whole, this whole circle is the thigh. And then we're gonna come down here and hit the knee. And then I'm gonna come down here and do the shin and then the feet. So I'm gonna look here. And then the, the arm, 
<clears throat> the end of this is where the elbows are. I'm gonna mark that and then I'm gonna put my arms out. And then and then the hands fall here. This is a common thing. People make their, their hands itty bitty. Don't do that. Make them make them fit. I want everything in scale. This is the challenge is that you can get it drawn in and drawn in proportion. And so I'm back to my high resolution. I'm just gonna look. Um, this, this skeleton is in a line drawing, so there's no need to worry about lighting or anything. You're just gonna start doing, you know, going in and doing the drawing the way you see it. So of course I'm doing in 6B, and I'm just gonna go in and, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna suggest that you work light first and then you can go over either in pencil or ink and do a drawing of the, um, the skeleton. But right off the bat, I wouldn't do what I'm doing in my pencil. Pencil, I'm just gonna go turquoise here. I'm just gonna come in and come down, <clears throat> come down. And the knee bone is here. I'm just gonna draw it in. I'm gonna draw that in. I'm gonna come up. And then I'm just gonna work my way around the skeleton. That, that seven and a half head formula is really helpful to fit it on the page and to get it in proportion. And then the, the, the rest of the challenge is to uh, draw the skeleton. It's an overwhelming object. You know, it's one of the hardest things to draw. And so what the thing about the 3D sculpt, the 3D model, that's so cool is you can zoom in on areas. So if you're like struggling, you can, you can zoom in on areas to really see them. And so when we're in the classroom, one thing that this, this is kind of cool is you can um, zoom in on it. So, you know, um, that really helps. Also, the, both of these things are in the Google Classroom. The, the formula, the Google formula um, is in the Google Classroom. This one, the seven and a half. So it's, you know, it's one, two, three, four, five, seven, seven and a half. And then, um, and that's how you're gonna do. And just remember the skeleton's all in line. The next piece we're gonna do is a, is a like you're gonna pick an area. So like, and that's another cool thing about the, about this is I wish, and I wish I knew it, film editing, you can spin it around and find your area. You're gonna crop an area on the skeleton and you're gonna focus in on it and draw that. So whatever area you're interested in drawing, you can zoom in and, and, and you're gonna crop that in and draw that in charcoal. But before you do that, you need to do your skeleton in line. So the skeleton in line is what we're working on right now. So I have to get mine back to the beginning so I can, the one thing is I'm figuring this thing out. So, okay. I'm just gonna continue onward and upward into my um, skeleton.